All right, hello everyone on YouTube. Quick unboxing video of an Xbox One, or commonly known as an X-Bone. And yes, the all Xbox Ones do contain a Blu-ray player. It's the Xbox Elite, but it does not. But you can convert those out to have Blu-ray. Uh, Xbox did not own the license for them. You may notice one of the pamphlets is missing from in here because I have already gotten into here. To make it easier, the pamphlet is sitting over there. Because that holds all the, you know, stuff and in private information to this Xbox. And have got a HDMI cord right here. Looks like, it looks, it looks to be a very decent HDMI cord. So, a controller. What I have pulled out. And probably something for eBay. Because I don't think I'll use the headset. I'll probably just use the connect because it connects. It's got a built in microphone. Quite a large power brick, actually, but nowhere near as large as the original uh, Xbox 360. What seems to have the red ring. The cord seems to be a little bit better than the Elite cord. It's a little bit more stiff and it feels a little bit more high quality ish. Connector looks pretty nice. Starts to slotted. I have a guess. These two outer contacts are probably ground, and then the center silver part's probably positive, and then the two very sharp looking needle things down in there are probably one's 5 volt, and then one's probably connect 5 volts to power supply. I'll have to. Uh, maybe I'll buy another Xbox One power supply and rip it, that, rip it to parts. Power cord. You're not going to use that. I have power cords for those. What go to computers? Much better power cords. Nobody needs pieces of box. There is the oh, so important uh, thing, and they say don't touch there. But I am picking it up this way because that is the easiest way to grab the damn thing. It feels a little bit better quality than. But it's got a tripod mount, so I could actually put this on the tripod and actually put it over here, away from the telly, you know. Where I have more space and just point the television towards my direction so I can actually interact with the TV and not have to move my damn bed all over the place. We don't need this. I will pick the connect up and put the connect over here by the TV. But that is what the connect will look like in front of the telly. I wonder if the connect will. No. Maybe no, I can't set it on the stand. Well, maybe I could, but if it tries to move upwards, it's going to get caught. And the cord's got a cooling fan. That's because these things use make so much heat. There's actually heat sinks in there. I cannot believe that. That is uh, quite some high power technology. I'll see if I can get an Xbox uh, One uh, Connect and see if I can take it down to bits for you guys. And I'll see if I can get one on eBay just to connect itself. It's got uh, looks like probably power only, and then data is probably that guy there. Oops, I better not lose that cap, but it's, it's fallen into my TV stand, and it looks like it doesn't matter which way it goes on, it just goes on. This one did not come off a cap. This guy's actually plugged in, so I better not touch the touch sensors. Enough rambling. And yes, the quickest way to unbox things is to actually tip them out. This thing is such a heavy thing. It's so bloody heavy. I'll take it over here. To this part of my bed. Set it down. Oops. Oh well. I don't really care. It's got that piano black gloss stuff. But this absolutely picks up fingerprints like not another day. I'll put the unit down. Try to handle it on this side of the device. And not that side. Because that's going to pick up every single fingerprint out there. There's the front of it. It looks like a big old VCR. I don't know if you can actually turn it on for this button. I don't know if that's a power button or not, because I have not powered this thing up ever. This is the first time you guys are seeing it. Power input. Xbox. Ooh, two TV. From Converter Box. Cable TV. No, actually not. You can actually plug your Elite or any Xbox or anything with HDMI out into there. And it will bring it to this side. So you're going to say, hey, come, hey, Xbox, Snap TV. And it would display what's on this onto this on a much smaller screen. 
and there's the connect port, two USBs. When I get two USBs, I think, no, there's the third USB, but looks like there's already some, oh, maybe that's just part of the case thing. I did not, uh, just noticed that just now. I think that's part of the case thing. I think that's just paint. I think so. Oh, that's actually a pushy button. It's a clicky button, tactile switch. I'll tip it again. Oh, do not move. Hmm. I think this doesn't, uh... It's a high definition. Uh, they don't want you to move the console with the diskette in there. Well, I don't think we need that anymore. And the bottom of the device. It's just the next box. One is all what it is. Let's put it next to the Elite. Oh my god. It is twice the size of the Elite. Meaning... Big old ugly guy can live right here on my speaker. I think that's about right, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's about half the size of a standard stereo, I would imagine. Let me go grab Onkyo over here. And let me go grab the regular amplifier. It's the normal home stereo. Set it down on four. Pick up the X-Bone. I call it an X boon. And oh my god. Yeah, I would say it's almost the size. And if we want to look at the front of Xbox One there, now let's look at the front of a 1980s amplifier. Hmm. Huh. Is that what they're going at? A trend? It does look like it to me. There's lots of lots of vents on this thing. Look at all the ventilation holes. Well, Xbox One is just one big old vent. Got vents in the back, vents in the sides. No vents in the bottom, that's funny. I don't remember if the Elite does or not. I think it does. Got vents on the sides. Piano black glossy fingerprint pickup or you want to, if you want to get somebody's fingerprint, all you got to do is get them to touch the top of that, and they would, you would get their fingerprint automatically, with no questions asked. That is how nice and glossy these things are. Once you fingerprint them, good luck cleaning them. But yeah, that amplifier is all ventilation. This guy, I think, looks a little bit better. Let me, uh, there's no drive in there. Because I don't use the hard drive bay. I use a hard drive. Actually, mass storage drive. Nope, no vents on the bottom. I thought there were. Oh well. Doesn't matter to me. That's not even a vent. That's just a single solid piece of plastic. So, yeah. If you have overheating problems with your Xbox Elite, just take the side panel off and it will suck air in through the port. This guy's new enough and it's clean enough to not need that, and I don't dare want to turn it on. So if I turn the little sucker on, it's going to drive me nuts because it's going to ask for the damn controller. I'll take the controller out of the box unceremoniously, just pull it out. Oh, look, it comes with Duracell batteries. I wonder if these are the good ones or if these are the crappy Duracell cells. I'll do a power up test on this thing later on tonight. Uh, these might be the better door cells. I think they might be. They look to be the better ones. They're not all shiny silver ink like the X, like the uh, Shysta ones. Hmm. Looks like you could put rechargeable batteries in here. Huh. <laughs> Hello from. Huh. I don't, I'm not going to worry about rating that, because I'm too lazy to. I'll just put the batteries in. Funny thing is, it does not say the way the batteries go in. Oh, I see. You have to look at the tongs there. You see the little plus and the negative, so that tells me the negative of the batteries in there. Usually, they just print that on the back. Dude, those don't go in there that tight. They feel pretty loose. 
looser than the ones to my TV right now. Hmm. These are the batteries they gave me with it, so. Uh, I don't know. You know? I, I don't know. I'm gonna go grab the Elite controller. These are definitely much stiffer on the Elite controller. The Xbox One, they're a little bit more spongy. Pads feel good. These are a little bit harder to push on on this controller. These are a little bit more spongy. Yeah, those are spongier. These are a little bit uh, more tactile. Oh, it's blinking because it's looking pretty Xbox. Oh, I better turn that off. Uh-oh. Let me take one of the batteries out. Let me put the battery back in. Actually, I wonder what happens if I was to plug the micro USB into there. Oh, I just noticed that. To the naked eye, that does not look like anything. But to my camera, it's actually got a... Uh, Red plastic for infrared. I'm wondering if this is not a wireless remote. I'm wondering if this is an infrared remote. It may very likely be. Because the Elite does not have that colored plastic. So, yeah. So, I guess it does pay to have an infrared-based camera. I actually see that. I'm going to plug a micro USB cord into there. Okay, it is dead. Nothing's happening new explosions or anything nothing's caught fire or anything yet so and there's no smoke and i don't hear anything beeping or anything so i think it detects it's got alkaline batteries in there and it's not going to charge from those batteries i'm wondering if this is for the connect maybe it is maybe this talks to the connect maybe for infrared probably does let me so let's take a quick look at the connect again and i don't think the connect has any of that uh, plastic eh. that's the camera thingy i think you know there's no infrared thingamajigs in there and i'm really curious why they have such a massive heat sink it looks like it's like a little stereo amplifier in there it honestly does it has a new product smell that's actually quite lovely and let's look at the front of xbone one oh what the heck let's just get nice fingerprints everywhere i do not see anywhere for an infrared receiver i will have to look more online to see what that is about but no, this is going to be kept in one piece. Hmm. Infrared out. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. It says infrared out on it. But they didn't give me anything in the box to the device. All right. Well, real quick, we'll see if the uh, Xbox One power supply has a standby. Shall we? I'll set you guys down on my bed. Here. And just take the power supply like this. Oh, nice. They actually cover that. I think I'll leave that piece on it. My god, this is actually lighter than the uh, power supply for the uh, this one. This one's much heavier. Yeah. I'll plug it in and see if it lights up. Oh, yes, it does light up a nice pretty green color. I wonder if the Xbox will light up any other colors besides red. <laughs> I wonder if this thing will red ring of death right in front of the camera for us. Now, can I set it on the side? I don't know. It doesn't have any feet on the side. Well, I'm going to put it on its side for this test. Mm, I bet a lot of people are screaming at me saying, No, no, it doesn't go on its side. Alright, yes, I know. It probably shouldn't be on its side. And we'll go ahead and tip it right side up. There's already like scratches. It's like a fan running inside this already. There's like air coming out of it. Oh, actually? Yeah, oh, yeah. It does. Oh, that lights up light. Wow. Okay. Well, 
I don't know what it's doing because I don't have the TV hooked up to it. Let me put let me put you guys on the TV here real quick and pick up the Xbox One. You know what's gory? I'll well, steal the HDMI cord from my mine. Okay, I gotta read which one it says. Two TV. Okay, so I gotta plug it into the TV one here. Okay. And of course, I am not going to plug my memory drive into the Xbox One because it's going to want to reformat my bloody drive. And turn the TV on, of course. I'm not going to turn the amplifier on. I'll wait for the TV to do its initialized thing. It says new signal. And then I will push the start button. Ooh. See what it does. New signal. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Is the magic smoke going to come out? I don't see if anything... Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's going to look for the remote. Okay, I might as well show you guys how to... What? How to pair it? Ah. Oh. Ah, maybe this is what this button's for. Yes, it is. Okay. So you press this button here. Oh, I hear the hard drive doing something. It's sitting there and saying that. Ooh. And the remote feels a little bit heavier than the... What is it doing? I don't know. Oh! Huh. Put my phone up to it. It talks to my phone. Oh, okay. I didn't uh, pair these guys right. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Now they're both lighting up solid, but nothing's really happening. Uh, I could give it a music file. Hang on. Let me go get a test CD. We'll feed it an old junky CD here. Something I don't really care about. What's, eh, that's a little too scratched up for it to maybe eat. Yeah, we'll play my... We'll play, eh, no, this is too scraped up. Eh, we'll try one of these. How about that? That sounds about right. Well, let's feed it in. Oh, we'll wait. Ooh, it's like my car radio. Okay. Cool, I'm not sure why the ethernet's blinking up. Oh, because the TV's connected to the ethernet. Okay. I might have to make this two-part video because it looks like the uh, thing is not wanting to respond.